The condenser is integrated with the receiver dryer, so it is the sub-cool type of which performance is superior to the conventional one. The APT sensor for detecting refrigerant pressure is installed at the high-pressure pipeline linking between condenser and evaporator. This is made of semiconductor piezo element and has the proportional characteristics in which the output voltage is increased as the coolant pressure is increased. HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning, installed at the center of instrument panel is the semi-center mounting type. Let's study about main sensor and actuator relating to the FATC control in brief. The ambient air temperature sensor detecting the external air temperature and the AQS sensor detecting the contamination of external air are installed at the center supporter frame at rear side of front bumper. An in-car sensor for detecting the temperature of cabin is applied and installed at the right lower part of FATC control unit. The coolant temperature sensor is installed at the coolant pipe of the heater core and is used as the input signal for controlling the heating operation of FATC control. Photo sensor is installed at the center of instrument panel. As FATC control unit has the communication function with scan tools, using scan tools, the diagnosis trouble code the current data and the actuation test can be performed. PTC, positive temperature coefficient heater, is applied to diesel engine. The relay is located in the engine room. The operating condition is as follows. The engine RPM is over 700. The intake air temperature is less than 5 degrees Celsius, the coolant temperature is less than 80 degrees Celsius, and the battery voltage is over 12.5 volts. The PTC heater will work for 90 minutes or more. Now, let's study how to self-diagnose and how to change the control logic. When pressing the off button of FATC control panel, if press the mode button four times or more within two seconds, then the control panel screen is blinking three times and then self-diagnosis is starting. If off switch is pressed, it will return to auto control. Now let's see how to set and release the defrost function. At first, press the defrost button to select the air blowing mode to the front windshield glass. Next, Press the air conditioner button and press the intake button five times within three seconds. When button signal is input normally, the control panel screen will be blinking at three times and then the defrost logic is released or recovered. If the air conditioning and recirculation air mode are not work in force at pressing the defrost button, the defrost logic is normally released. Operating the buttons with the same method, the released defrost logic will be recovered. Then, selecting defrost button, the air conditioning is operated and mode is switched to the recirculation air mode in force. Next, how to change the temperature unit. Press the auto button and off button at the same time for three seconds or more, then the temp unit is changed to centigrade or Fahrenheit. Then, as to rear air conditioning system. The rear air conditioner is operated by the communication signal of the front air conditioner module and it can be controlled independently. When auxiliary switch of the front air conditioner control module is set to R range, the blower motor speed control, temperature control, and mode control can be adjusted by rear air conditioner control module. 
At the other position except our range, the blower motor speed control, temperature control, and mode control are possible by the front air conditioner control module. The rear air conditioner control is installed at the roof of the first and second rows.